What can you do at home to try to prevent the sinus infections from turning into an infection that would require antibiotics? There's a lot of things you can do. There's a lot of stuff that's available over the counter. So if you think it's just allergies and you don't feel like you've had a cold, then there's a lot of allergy medication over the counter that's available, such as antihistamines, Zyrtec, Allegra, Claritin. You can also use a nasal spray, such as Aslan or any of the nasal steroids. But like I said before, 85% are due to a viral illness. So this is the most important thing to do is you wanna decongest the nose because the sinuses get back because the nose is so congested. So the best thing you do is get on a nasal decongestant spray such as Afrin or Neosinephrine. And those are the ones that patients are afraid to take because they're worried about the rebound, worried about it becoming a habit. But for the first several days of a cold, it is perfectly safe to use. I have patients use it all the time. You can also do an oral decongestant such as Sudafed or phenylephrine. Uh, you do need to watch your blood pressure if you do have hypertension because sometimes you know that can elevate your blood pressure. Other things you can do thin the mucus with some Mucinex or Robitussin and you can also filter and moisturize the nasal cavity using nasal saline. So if you tried all this and you're not getting better, my general rule is when to come in is after five days if you're getting worse, if after seven days you're not getting better, or if after 10 days you're still having symptoms. So that's when you should seek medical care. Now the reality is even a bacterial infection can potentially clear up on its own without seeing a physician. But if it's been going on several weeks and you're not clearing up, it's probably best to come in at that point because it's hard to clear it up the longer it's been there. So when you see your physician, there are a lot of physical clues that I can use to determine whether you have an infection or not. Patients will come in, they've had a cold for two weeks, not sure if they need to see me, not sure if they need an antibiotic, and I kind of let them know, I feel like, yeah, I think you need to get on an antibiotic. So if I see things like negative pressure behind the eardrum, a lot of uh, drainage irritation in the back of the throat, if the nose still looks real red, if the membranes are still red, if I see any cloudy mucus that's been going on, then that's a sign. Also, you, it's important to listen to the lungs because sometimes you can develop bronchitis or pneumonia and also asthmatics can have a flare-up of their asthma, so that's important as well. What do you do as far as treatment once you see a physician? I would always give an antibiotic and then there are a lot of secondary accessory medications that you can give. Of course, if you have allergies, you want to treat your allergies. If you have a lot of thick mucus, you can use the mucus thinner. If someone's acutely ill, within a few weeks, I'll offer them injections such as an antibiotic and a steroid. And sometimes if they've been congested for a while and having a lot of pressure symptoms, I'll, I'll give them a course of oral steroids. And the vast majority of the time, that will take care of it. If, however, they don't clear up, then they need to let me know. Like I said before, the longer it sits, the harder it is to clear up.